Good morning. Happy Friday. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, it's finally Friday. And uh, as I promised, we are going to do yoga. So if you are just tuning in, all you need is yourself. Uh, if you have a yoga mat, great. If you don't, you don't need one. I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to get situated and get set up as I will do the same. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Kayla. All right, so as we get set up for this, I wanna share with you guys something that I put together yesterday. Those of you that are um, in my program or those of you that um, don't know what my program's about, look what I put together. I'm so excited. This is a binder of all of my meal plans. So if you're wondering what all this hoopla is about with all these people signing up and being success stories in my weight loss program, check it out. When you sign up to be on a Get You Fit program, you start out by filling out an application and immediately you get to download this startup guide. It is basically the directions of what you need to know to do my program from A to B to Z. All right, everything you need to know, all the instructions. Then, once you get that going, you will then get month one meal plan. So the way they look is just like this. I'm gonna zoom in here. I just updated my format. Don't they look great? I have my recipes here. I have the ingredients broken down just like this. So really easy to look at, really easy to make grocery lists. Directions just like that. They're not crazy directions like you see on Pinterest where you have to read all this crazy stuff. Look at the directions. One, two, three, as simple as that. So that's month one. Month two is there. After two months, you get month three. If you continue with the program, you go month four, month five, month six. Those clients that have been with me long enough have reached month 12. After 12 months, you have this amazing array of meal plans. You have 12 months of family friendly recipes for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Look at all that. After 12 months, I just started a new series called the Refresh Series. At this point, you pretty much know what you're doing and you just need to be refreshed. The Refresh Series is a new line of recipes and meal plans for those people that have been with me a year or longer. And that continues. In the back of my binder, I have my plant-based and vegan plans. And as you can see here, how thick it is. This is all of my hard work in progress. So I figured I'd share it with you because I think a lot of people don't understand fully what my program is about. All right, you guys, if you're interested, you can still get in on this. Um, I am closing out the spring program next week. All right, enough yip yapping. Let's do our yoga. If you've never done yoga before, I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna make it as simple or as advanced for you as you would like it to be. So I'm gonna use my yoga mat here and I would like you to use it as a focal point. Um, the focal point is going to be the front of the yoga mat. So when I say get to the front of the yoga mat, 
That is when I am instructing you to do just that. Get to the front of the yoga mat. Um, I am leaving this space behind me open so that you can see my reflection in the mirror. I'm lining myself up so that you can see the reflection in the mirror behind me um, in order for you to see my entire view, um, which will make it a lot easier for you to catch all angles of what I'm doing, okay? Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Get you fit, yoga. Here we go. All right, so let's start out. Great big inhale up. Gaze up, place those hands together. And forward fold, exhale as you gaze down at your toes. Stay right here. Inhale, halfway up, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, gaze at your knees. Inhale, gaze up at the sky. Place those hands together. Bend your knees, place those hands to heart center. Hold it right here. Excellent. I'm gonna do that again. Give me a great big inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, gaze at your knees. Inhale, all the way up, gaze at the sky, place those hands together. Bend at your knees. Hold your hands to heart center. All right, guys, we're gonna incorporate some movement now. Great big inhale up, gaze up. Forward fold, place those hands on your mat. Take a step back, the end of your mat, and hold yourself to a high plank. Stay right here, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Notice the reflection in the mirror behind me. I am now going to turn around so that I could see you in the mirror and conduct the class facing the mirror so you can see me in entirety. Turn those toes, flip those hips up, gaze at those knees, downward facing dog, hold it here. Give me a great big inhale. Exhale, walk or jump to the front of the mat, forward fold, inhale, halfway up, gaze forward, exhale, all the way down, inhale, come all the way up, place those hands together, and bring them to heart center. Excellent, hold it right here, good job, give me a great big inhale up. Forward fold down, place those hands on the mat, jump or walk to the back, lower yourself down, inhale, up dog. Exhale, flip those toes, downward facing dog. We're gonna stay right here now. Notice I am directing my heels down towards the mat. Keeping my legs straight. I'm gonna inhale up, bring that left leg up. Exhale, lunge it forward. Staying right here in a forward lunge position. I'm gonna turn my back heel and lift up as I gaze up into warrior one. Eyes are up toward your hands. Exhale, warrior two. Gaze between those left fingertips. Hold it here. Inhale now, drop that left hand back. Right hand comes up. Reverse your warrior. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, drop your left hand down. Reach for that left foot. Bring your right hand up towards the ceiling and hold it right here for your triangle. Your eyes are up towards that right hand. 
Your legs are straight. Take your right hand now. Bring it down to the floor. You are framing that left foot. Left foot is being framed. Your left foot now is going to kick back up into the air. You're going to lower yourself down into a plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Flip your toes, lift your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we're going to stay right here. Downward facing dog. Direct that chest into your, towards your knees. Give me a great big inhale up. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, lunge forward. Flip your back foot flat. As you inhale, lift up. Warrior. Gaze up. Exhale, warrior two, you're lunging forward, you're gazing between your right fingertips, your chest is open, lunging in, notice my shoulders are parallel to the ground, and I'm lunging in. As you inhale, you're going to drop your left hand down. Your right hand's gonna come up, reach up and gaze up. Exhale now, straighten your right leg. And now drop your right hand down towards the floor, reaching for that right ankle. And your left hand's gonna come up. And you're going to turn and gaze up towards the sky your triangle. If you were between two panes of glass right now, your body should fit. So if you're, if you're leaning forward like this, that is incorrect form, you're sandwiched between two panes of glass. As you exhale, drop your left hand down, framing your foot. Inhale, bring your right leg back. Exhale, lower yourself down to a high plank. Flip your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Flip your toes, lift your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, walk to the front of your mat. Come halfway up, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold down, gaze at your knees. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Gaze at the sky, place those hands together and bring them to heart center. Good job you guys, stay right here, bend your knees. We are going to do that again. Now the only downfall to this is I cannot see my screen, so I can't see what you guys are saying, and, and hopefully if you're doing this with me, you can't comment. So we are gonna go great big inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold down, gaze at your knees. Jump or walk to the end of your mat. Lower yourself down, inhale, up dog. Flip your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog as you exhale. Inhale as you lift your left leg up. Exhale as you lunge forward. Flip your back foot flat. Inhale as you lift up. Warrior one, gaze up towards the sky. Exhale. Open up those arms, lunging forward, gaze between your fingertips, warrior two. Inhale, drop that left hand down, and right hand comes up, reversing that warrior. Straighten that left leg, 
as you inhale, drop that left arm down. Right hand comes up for triangle. Straighten those shoulders. Your right hand is going to come down. You're going to frame your foot as you inhale. And now exhale as you kick that left leg back. Lower yourself down. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Right leg comes up. Exhale. Lunge it forward. Flatten your left foot. Inhale. Come up. Warrior one. Lunging it forward, gazing up. Exhale, open up those arms. Gaze between your right fingertips for warrior two. As you inhale, drop that left arm down. Right arm comes up. Reversing your warrior. Straighten that right leg. And Drop that right arm down as you exhale. Left arm comes up for triangle. Step those shoulders. Legs are straight. Left hand comes down as you inhale. Right leg kicks back. Lower yourself down, inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Jump or walk to the front of your mat. Come halfway up. Exhale. All the way down. Gaze at your knees. Inhale. All the way up. Place those hands together. Bend those knees and bring it to heart center. Stay right here. Stay right here. I'm gonna visit the camera. All right, you guys, how are we doing? You all hanging in there with this? All right, I am going to do one more, one more combination, and then we'll take it through. All right, you guys are doing a great, great job. Great, great job. Fantastic. Great big inhale up. Forward fold. Hands on the mat. Jump or walk to the back of your mat. Lower yourself down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your left leg up. Exhale, lunge it forward. Inhale, lift up onto your tiptoes and bring your hands forward. This is a crescent lunge. You're on your tiptoes. If it's too difficult for you to be on your tiptoes, you can drop your heels down. As you inhale, drop your heels down now. Take your right hand, place it on the floor, and your left hand comes up for half moon pose. I'm gonna keep it right here. And exhale, take your left hand, frame that foot. As you inhale, come on up to warrior. One. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Straighten that leg. Take that right hand now, bring it back forward for crescent once again. Take those hands down onto the floor. As you inhale, take that left leg back, lower yourself down, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Same thing on the other side. Great big inhale up, right leg. Exhale, lunge it forward. Get on those tiptoes, lift up. Crescent. As you inhale, drop those heels. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Half moon. Exhale, bring that right hand down. Lifting back up. Gaze up. Warrior, flipping that back foot flat. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. As you inhale, take your left hand, bring it forward, back into crescent. Gazing forward. Take both hands now, down, frame your foot. Right foot comes back. Lower yourself down, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, walk or jump to the front of your mat, come halfway up, all the way down, great big inhale, up, up, up. And place those hands together, bring them to heart center. All right, you guys, we are going to do that second combination one more time, and then we'll take it down for some floor. Great big inhale. Forward fold. Halfway up, gaze forward, exhale all the way down, jump to the back of the mat or float, lower yourself down, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your left leg up, lunge it forward, stay on your tiptoes, crescent, lunge, exhale, drop your left hand down, heels down, Left hand comes up, right hand is down. Sorry, guys. As you exhale now, flip that back foot flat. Come on up. Warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, take your right hand, bring it forward for crescent. Take both hands now, drop them to the floor. Take that left leg back, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg comes up as you inhale. Exhale, lunge forward on your tiptoes. Lift up for crescent. Inhale, drop that left hand down, right hand comes up. Half moon. Drop those heels down. Pivot that left foot back as you inhale. Warrior one. Exhale. Warrior two. Inhale. Reverse your warrior. And take your left hand as you exhale. Bring it forward for crescent. Inhale as you drop your hands, framing that foot. Take that right leg back to a high plank, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, jump to the front of your mat. Halfway up, all the way down. Inhale, and a great big inhale up. Gaze up, place those hands together, bring them to heart center. Fantastic. And give me one more great big inhale up. 
Take a step out wide, wide on the mat. You're gonna forward fold down, holding it right here. We are going to stay forward fold, legs are wide. I'm going to yogi walk to the front of my mat, towards my left foot. And now I am going to lunge forward. My right knee is down. Right knee is down. I'm going to turn around again so that you can see me. There we go. I'm lunging forward. I'm going to take my left heel down. And I'm up right now for standing splits. Basically, standing splits is when you are standing up in a splits position. Drop that knee down, straighten that left leg, sit back on the heel. And up you go. Lift yourself up. And up again, you're going to yogi walk now. Back to the center. And we're gonna do the opposite leg, which for me, I'm going to flip around here so you can see me again. Framing that foot, drop that left knee down. Lunging it forward, straighten that right leg. Lift yourself up, standing splits. Great work, you guys. I will be back on next week, Monday through Friday, with another fantabulous week of live workouts. Wednesday night will be cooking nights once again. I will cook a fantastic dinner live. So join me, sit back, on those heels. This weekend I will post um, an hour long workout for you to do on your own. And back up, lift up, back to center, forward fold. Hey puppy! Push yourself up. Heel toe your way in. Forward fold. Up, up, up. Good job, you guys. Take it forward. Fantastic. Take those arms in front. Lift up. Right arm down. Thank you so much for joining me. And up. I'm gonna end on the floor with one more stretch. It's my favorite stretch. And up. I'm gonna bring my camera down. So, from here, go forward, fold down. your knees and onto your knees and back okay so this here is the shoelace the shoelace um i've been doing with the Huntley fire department who i've been training now for two years and uh it is an amazing hip stretch i love to end with this um, it is pretty intense. So I'm going to show you two different variations of how you can get into the shoelace stretch. Okay, I'm going to bring my camera back just a little bit so that you can see me in full view. Okay, if you have a yoga block or you have a pillow or something, um, that might help you. You can definitely use it. All right, so 
What you're gonna do to start, sip it in gold here. Take your right leg, <clears throat> grab hold, bring it up. Fantastic. Now cross it over, bring it in, grab hold. Bring it nice and close. And now you're going to drop it. So what I have here is I have my right leg is crossed over my left. The key is to bring it as close to your chest as you can. And I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to bring it down flat. See that? Completely flattened. Start out with folding forward. Now some of you might not be able to do this. If you have a pillow, Place it on your lap. I encourage you to do this stretch. When you're watching TV or on your laptop. Okay, now the hard part. You're gonna lift yourself up. Take your bottom leg, cross it under. See that? Crazy intense, feels amazing. My hips are really feeling a stretch here. My bottom is on the ground. Bring your arms out. Now, I'm going to show you a modification if you can't get into this position. And even if you can't get into this position, and you can get into a modified position as close to this as possible, you are going to feel a really intense stretch in the hips. And release. Okay, we're going to do the other side. And I'm going to show you how you can get into this position in a different way. All right, so we're going to do the other side. You're going to cross the legs. See that? Tuck my shirt in here. So I'm crossing my legs just like this. And now I'm going to sit. The key is get your bottom on the ground and your feet also on the ground and like I said uh, some of you might not be able to get down on the ground if you can't get on the ground and you want to prop yourself up uh, on a pillow somewhat the key is to feel the stretch and to slowly and eventually be able to bring yourself down to that point of feeling the stretch in its entirety. I could stay here all day, but I won't. All right, you guys. You did awesome. What a great week. Let's stay positive. I know this is unpaved territory for all of humanity. And uh, the only thing we have is positivity. So let's work on mastering our positivity. And uh, we will get through this. All right, guys. Enjoy your week.